Alright, Shalom Akim. We want to start off first and foremost, giving all praises and glory that is due unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash. Double honors going out to the elders, the apostles of Great Millstone, who continue to teach and rule well the nation of Israel. Alright, which the nation of Israel consists of you so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Alright, and also the Israelite foreigners. Alright. Speckled bird, those uh, 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 Israelites which are scattered among the heathen nations, all right, looking like the heathen nation, but they also come of the sea line of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, all right, the Latin tribes, all right. Um, you know, peace, mercy be unto the elect, all right. Uh, uh, may Yahweh Bashim Yahshai continue to direct your paths. Uh, 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 to that end goal of salvation, man. Uh, um, especially you sincere man who are teaching, pushing the gospel of Yahweh Shai wherever ye may be found, putting your lives and freedom on the line for the gospel of Yahweh Shai. All right, so this video, I just want to go into obedience, man. Okay? Uh, uh, um, we all have to be obedient, okay? And the thing is, we, we, if we know the, the the secrets of the gospel, guess what? We're going to hearken unto the words of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushai. We're not going to try going our own separate ways. We're not going to go try making up new doctrines. We're not going to sit there and try to be over our teachers. Okay? As you women as well, man. Y'all women that listen, you're not going to sit there and try to be teaching a man. You're not going to sit there and try being over a man. All right, you're not gonna sit there and try to have authority over your man. All right, so with that comes with uh, 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 understanding the scriptures. All right, comes a, 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 a lot of responsibility. All right, it's not it's not just about being uh, uh, hearers of the word, but doers also, man. All right, so if you're 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 out here, man. If you're a man, it's not just about putting comments on the comment boards. All right. It's about doing the work, all right? Showing your faith, all right? Faith without works is death, or it's dead, all right? So let me uh, go in, and uh, I'm going to start in uh, John. John chapter 14 and verse 27, and it reads, Peace I, ha I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, I give unto you, let not your heart be troubled, neither, neither let it be afraid, all right? So, hey, man, we, we got a different type of peace, man, all right? The words, the comforter, all right, that Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushai has given unto us as a gift, that, that's his peace, man, given unto us, letting us know that everything's going to be all right if we continue to the end, all right? If we continue Walking the path that that has been ordained for us, man. Okay, without wavering, man. Asking, continue to put all our faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. All right, not being impatient. Okay, L understanding that there's an order to everything. All right, that's where your obedience comes from, man. It is Yahweh Shai, man. Because he understood the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. He knew that there's an order, man. All right. So you can't go uh, 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 trying to do something out of your own, man. All right. Uh, 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 continue in the doctrine, man. Okay. This is Jeremiah. Salakia. Jeremiah chapter 17. And verse 7. Blessed is the man that trusted in the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushai, whose hope and whose hope the Yah the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is. Let me read that one more time. Blessed is the man that trusted in the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, and whose hope and whose hope the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is. All right. So blessed be the man that trusted in Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, man. All right. Our hope is in Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, man. 
Yehel Ratza, Yehel Bashim Yel Shai Ratza, all right, Lord will that hey man, he has mercy upon upon us, and, 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 and we're part of that remnant, man. All right, we're we're part of that group that makes it out of here, man. All right, that that our names are written in the book of life, man. That's the the hope we have in man. He has given us this truth so we could be saved, so we could be healed. Going to uh, John. First John. First John chapter one and verse five. And it reads. This then is the message which we have heard of him and declare unto you that the most high power is light and in him is no darkness at all. That's right, man. All right. He has given us this truth. Guess what? This is the light. This is the comforter. This is what's going to be uh, 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 guiding us through our lives, regardless if it's good or bad. All right. Because we got to get both sides. All right, it's a righteous balance. Okay, we're not in the times right now to be glorified, man. All right, we're doing the will of you. How about Shimiel Shai? Everything we do is going to be to glorify the names of you. How about Shimiel Shai? Okay, we're doing all of this so Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai get all the glory, man. Because if it, hey, it, 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 yeah, how was the one having mercy on us? All right? And how shy was that uh, perfect sacrifice, man? All right? Without the Creator and without His only begotten Son, guess what? We're dead. We're doomed. We don't have no hope. So we got to continue in the doctrine, continue to be faithful, man. Continue to be sincere and, and, and do that which is acceptable. Unto Yahweh Bashim Yel Shai, man. All right, there's no easy ways uh, out of it. All right, this is the easy way at, out of this place, man. Being in order, following after what Yahweh Bashim Yel Shai command us to do. All right, this is Deuteronomy chapter six and verse six. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thy heart, and thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk. Of them when thou sittest in the house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when and when thou ri risest up. All right. So, hey, man, everything we do in our daily lives, hey, man, we're supposed to uh, uh, just be meditating on the scriptures, having that balance. We have a life, we got things to do, but guess what? Everything leads back to the scriptures. No matter what you're doing, working, that goes back to the curses, man. Being able to 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 rest and, and, and read the scriptures, man. That's a blessing. Having the understanding, ha, 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 being able to know when the Sabbath comes in, man. That's knowing the knowing the secrets. That's part of knowing the secrets. That's a blessing, man. And I know I was going to go into uh, this uh, 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 video of obedience a whole different direction, but Yahweh Hashem Yahshai led it a different way, man, when I was getting the scriptures that I had written down, all right? But going on, this is a... Uh, so lucky, give me one second. Make sure I get the book. This is First Chronicles, Chapter Fifteen. In verse 2, then David said, None ought to carry the ark of the Most High Power but the Levites. 
For them hath the Lord Yehovah Shimei Shai chosen to carry the ark of the Most High Power and to minister unto Him forever. All right, and we know that nowadays, guess what? Who's carrying that ark? Who who's carrying the true teachings of Yehovah Shimei Shai? It is those prophets. It's those men that have been chosen. It's the it, uh, the 144,000, man. All right? They're teaching the correct doctrine. Okay? They're teaching the names of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. They're in order. They're teaching what the Kragma is. Okay? You you have to know exactly who you're being taught by and, and, and if you're teaching the correct doctrine as well, man. Little leaven leavens the whole bread. So we got to stay in order. All right? As, just as, hey, you women also, man. Yehovah Hashem Yahushai is dealing with man to preach his word. So if you're watching the correct group, guess what? Continue to watch them. Stay in order. Stop jumping from different groups to different groups, getting your mind polluted. We only can tell you, hey, hey, you do whatever you want, but we're just trying to keep you in order, man. All right? You want to watch all these other groups? Go ahead. We're not going to get mad at the end of the day. Hey, we warned you. It's not, it's not, it's not a wise thing to be doing, especially if you're uh, uh, coming in new. Okay. Uh, let me jump to uh, down to verse thirteen. For because ye did it not at first, the Lord Yehovah Shimei Shai, our power made a breach upon us, for that we sought Him not after the the do. The due order, all right. So hey, we had to fall away because Yahweh, because we didn't obey Yahweh Bashim Yahu Shai, all right. So we need to understand that, man. All right, we need to understand that we gotta be in order, all right. We gotta follow the directions of Yahweh Bashim Yahu Shai and let the Spirit guide us through the truth, uh, through the understanding of the Scriptures. All right, through this uh, Rakak Dash, and understand that there is man set above us to keep us in order. Okay, there is man above us to make sure they're guiding the nation of Israel correctly. And if you're not going to follow that order, guess what? You're going to be destroyed. Go into Psalms. Psalms chapter 19. In verse 1, the heavens declare the glory of the Most High Power, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. Day unto night, day unto day, uttereth speech, and night unto night showeth knowledge. Alright, so that's the thing, man. We see the power of Yahweh Shim Shai. We understand what's going on. See, you have other people that don't understand what's going on and freaking out at these times right now. Because we are at the end of the times. We're entering into the, the, the Jacob's trouble where it's just going to get, we're going to have much more evil days coming uh, upon us, man. See, but the man of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, guess what? Because they trust in the names of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai and the doctrine. They're holding fast to what they have learned. Guess what? We're not going to fear because Yahweh Hashem Yahshai promised that he was going to be there protecting us being being that 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 shield to guide us that no harm comes our way and do we not see the man of the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahshai putting up videos day and night man do we not see his word going out to the ends of the world, man? Via the YouTube. Alright, let's go to Psalms. Chapter 19. 
121. This is Psalms 121, verse 7. The Lord Yahweh Shai shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. This is a promise, man. Yahweh Shai is not lying. He did not give us all this hope just to let us be destroyed here with the wicked. See, Yahweh Shem Shai has given us the spirit of truth, of love, of prophecy, not of fear, man. We know what's coming. We don't have to be scared of death. Death only reunites us in the spirit world with Him, man. We're at peace. We know the end. We know the end of the wicked. We know the end of the righteous. We're looking for that kingdom to come and rule once again. This wicked kingdom is not going to go on forever. Verse 8. The Lord, Yahweh Baal Shem Shai, preserveth thy going out and thy coming in for this time forth and even forevermore. And that's part of the blessings, man. Understanding where we're at. Little by little is He pouring up the blessings upon us. It's not going to be full on this side. It's going to, the blessings are going to be upon us 100% in the kingdom. When righteousness is ruling this earth and governing this earth, man. But we see it. We see, we see, we see the kingdom being translated from one people to the other. Because of uh, unrighteous dealings, man. Alright? This is 1 John. First John chapter 2 and verse 15. And it reads, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. For, for, Shalaki, if any man love the world and love, if any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. All right, so we got to learn how to detach ourselves from this world, man. Okay? Stop hoarding things, man. Learn how to let go. It's okay. These things are temporal. Everything here is not going to last forever. We're going to have a new earth renewed once this wicked kingdom is put down. Everything here rots and molds. It's corrupted. Even our bodies. That's why we got to be translated from these bodies into the celestial bodies. That's a promise from Yahweh Shai, man. All authority has been given unto Yahweh Shai. He's coming back for us if we endure to the end. This is something we have to continue to do. Continue to make sure that we're walking. Uh, um, what it says, uh, uh, examine thyself, man. Got to examine ourselves to make sure we're walking in the spirit of Yahweh Shai. That we're walking in the truth. All right, can't sit there one minute and say Yahweh Bashim Shai delivers you out of everything, and the next minute you're over there crying, not understanding why you're going through the how you're going through. See, we're going through sifting process continuously, man. Whether it be one way or another, man. Yahweh Bashim Shai is only letting the let go through that whole process. Without being uh, 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 touched by the wicked, man. W without being put to death shamefully. Yahweh Hashem is going to continue to be with us, man. His Spirit is guiding us. All we need to do is continue to preach the correct doctrine. 
continue to do our work, continue to pray, man. Continue to hold fast to what we have. Continue to have faith. All right? Don't look back, man. Let, let, hey, man. Hey. Yeah, how about Shimmy Al Shai said we were going to get a hundredfold for everything we lost on this side? We can't even start to understand what that means. Just know we're going to have it in the kingdom. No more being slaves. No more having to work a nine to five. But being in the presence of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushai. Um, it says uh, John, John 14 and 27. Peace I live with you, and my peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, I give unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Alright? Can't give in to things, man. This is John 14 and verse 23. Yahweh shall I answer and, and said unto him, If a man loveth me, he will keep my words, and my Father will love him, and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. All right? So we ain't got to be afraid, man. Yeah, how about Hashem Yahushai is here with us, man? He's dealing with us, man. All right? He's dealing with us on the right-hand side. The water, Yeah, how about Hashem Yahushai? Kahalam la, Yeah, how about Hashem Yahushai? Daily, man. This is what it's about. It's not about you personally, man. It's about uh, the remnant. It's about the remnant giving, making sure we're doing everything we can at, at, as it's been ordained, our lots, all right? Fulfilling our lots for what? To give, to make sure that the name of Yahweh Hashem Shai is exalted, to give all glory unto Yahweh Hashem Shai. all right? This is uh, John. Chapter 16 and verse 33, and it reads, These things I have spoken unto you, that in my that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. See, Yahweh Hashem Shai has overcome the world, man. He was here in the flesh. Yahweh Shai was here in the flesh. Guess what? He overcame. He was that perfect sacrifice. Now he's sitting at the right hand of Yahweh, of Yahweh, just waiting for that time to come and redeem us, man. Waiting for that day that Yahweh gives them the okay to come back for us, to take all these rulers down off their high pedestal that they put themselves on, man. This is a. Uh, Philippians Shalakia Chapter 4 I'm going to end it off here This is uh, Philippians chapter 4 and verse 9 And it reads Those things which ye have both Learned and received and heard and seen in me, do. And the power of peace shall be with you. Alright, that's the thing, man. Everything we heard and seen, guess what? We're supposed to be doing it. Alright, Yahushai was a, a, a prophesying, man. We're supposed to be prophesying, man. He, he told uh, the apostles to prophesy, man, to feed the sheep. That's what we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to be walking in faith, man. Not in fear. Not in doubt. We doing what Yahweh Hashem Shai told us to do. Guess what? We're, we're being obedient. Yahweh Shai said to feed the sheep. We're being obedient. He said to love thy neighbor. Guess what? You're being obedient. You're not going to sin against your brother, man. You're going to teach the true doctrine, man. You're going to walk with faith. 
no matter what tribulation comes against you, man. All, everything that coming against you is only to prepare you to make you stronger. You're supposed to be growing. All right, but with that, I want to give all praises and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakadash. Double honor scored out to the elders, the apostles, the great millstone, all right, who teach and rule well the nation of Israel today. Peace, mercy be unto the hopeful elect, all right. May Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai continue to guide you, all right, till the day of his return, all right. May Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai continue to have mercy upon you. And, 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 and Yahweh Ratzazah, that we are delivered, that we are those men and women to be uh, 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 beamed up out of here, man. All right? Receiving those new celestial bodies when he returns. With that, I want to say Shalom, Wa Abad Babal.